Knowing the status of the pilot is of paramount importance to the safety of the plant. Uh, the first of the requirements is that we need to be able to speciate between pilots. We need a technology that can see the difference in the status between pilot one, pilot two, and pilot three. And so if one pilot is down, we can either automatically relight it or we can call for uh, maintenance and service attention to that pilot. The second aspect that people were looking for is obviously it has to be robust. It has to last a long time. And the definition of long time has grown. It used to be that turnarounds were commonly two to three years apart. But as we ask more and more of the facilities and of the equipment in the facilities, those turnaround periods are turning into five, six, and seven years. The third aspect that this question just became more and more common, we, we got it more frequently, is how do we get faster indication of, of the pilot status? Can we get instantaneous feedback? Now, thermocouples have been the industry standard for many, many years, uh, and they, they, for the most part, satisfy the first two requirements splendidly. With the thermocouple, you can tell between pilot one, pilot two, pilot three. The thermocouples themselves uh, can last several years and, and can make three, four, five year run cycles um, really rather reliably. We all know that a thermocouple can take several seconds, even up to several minutes, to either warm up to the switch point or to cool down to a switch point. And so we just got the question more and more often, how can we, why can't we make something that is instantaneous? So there exists in the, in the industry optical detection, and that's where we have either uh, an infrared or an ultraviolet camera that looks from grade up at the pilot and determines through, through visual spectrum or through light spectrum if the pilot status is on or off. The problem with that technology is that it's not going to be able to tell between pilot one and pilot two and give you that differentiation. And a lot of times it's also not going to be able to tell between the flare flame of your combustion purge and, and the pilot status. And so you can get false positives. Uh, we don't really specifically know the status of each pilot. It's actually becoming less acceptable to have long lags in knowing the status of your flare pilot. Zico has developed a new technology to overcome some of the shortcomings in the industry to give the, the best response time, most accurate detection, and robust operation of a system to know the status of a flare pilot. So you know the moment that you either achieve combustion or that you lose combustion. So the instantaneous nature was, was important. Uh, the other aspect is that it's maintainable at grade. Because the, the electronics portions are out of the, the combustion zone and they're at grade, they're not impinged upon, they last a long time, and if anything happens, we can maintain them while the flare lasts online. The end of the fiber optic is actually located a distance away from the, uh, the pilot nozzle where the flame stabilizes. So it's a non-contact technology. And so we take that fiber optic from, the, from near the pilot tip um, all the way down concentrically through the pilot and then we take that to grade. Where the fiber optic's purpose is to relay that, that IR signal from a specific point in the pilot down to grade. By making it modular, uh, the pieces are repeatable, they're available and in, in specified quantities and being stocked, uh, as well as just being a lot more robust against handling than what we normally see fiber optic. It was really important to make sure that the fiber optic, especially the fiber optic component that's, that's in the pilot itself, was suitable for extremely high temperature environment that it's going to exist in. Um, but we've developed something that is typically higher temperature suitability than the pilot itself, that we've effectively eliminated uh, thermal cycling or, or thermal damage from being one of the root causes of failure. We have the confirmation of each individual pilot. We have a technology that is robust, is gonna last from turnaround to turnaround, uh, as well as we've finally put together with instantaneous detection. And again, the purpose is to provide the safest, most reliable system and knowing the status of your flare pilots and, and therefore providing safety for the plant.